It's been called the most urgent refugee emergency in the world by the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. But how much do you know about Myanmar refugees in Bangladesh? Since August 2017, more than 700,000 Rohingya refugees have fled to Bangladesh because of extreme violence. More than half these refugees are children. The world's largest, most densely populated refugee camp houses Myanmar refugees in the Kuta Palang settlement near Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. Who are the Rohingya and why do they flee Bangladesh? The Rohingya people belong to a Muslim ethnic minority group of about one million people in Myanmar. They live in the country's Rahin state that borders Bangladesh and India. The Rohingya were not among the 135 officially recognized ethnic groups included in Myanmar's 2014 census. Armed conflict between minority groups and government military forces has gone on for decades in Myanmar. It accelerated significantly in August 2017 in Rahin state, causing Rohingya people and others to flee. What are the refugees' living conditions? Rohingya refugees have battled to survive seasonal monsoon rains and the continuing threat of cyclones. They face flooding, landslides, collapsed or damaged shelters, contaminated water, overflowing latrines, and disease. How are children affected by the refugee crisis? Refugee children are at a high risk of disease and malnutrition, physical harm, and violence. This includes lack of protection, gender-based violence, and no access to education. How is World Vision responding to humanitarian needs in Myanmar and Bangladesh? World Vision has served in Bangladesh since 1970. Today, World Vision directly reaches about 5 million children and adults through sponsorship and other programs. In Myanmar, World Vision began operations in 1991. Child-focused programs help families with health, livelihoods, education, and child protection. World Vision has served nearly 265,000 people in Bangladesh since the crisis began in September 2017. 1,720 children benefit from child protection activities each week. 158,000 people were reached with clean water and sanitation facilities. More than 30,000 children and mothers are receiving nutrition support. More than 44,000 people have received upgraded shelter kits. 150,000 people receive necessary items, including hygiene kits, cooking equipment, baby supplies, and feminine hygiene products. And 22,500 people have taken part in Cash for Work programs. Now that you know more about this urgent refugee situation, it's time to learn about the part that you can play in helping us protect refugee children.